Igbo secessionists can do what they like if after six months we don't address their grievances, David Umayi declares. In this part of the persistent challenges we are going through in Nigeria as we speak, the agitation for secession has intensified among some group of Nigerians. The agitation for Biafra by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB in the southeast, to fight for Ududua Republic in the southwest have intensified despite the advices from our leaders and allies. Some leaders have publicly they condemn the secession agenda and advise citizens to work for a united nation because those times do not last. Tough times do not last, sorry to say. The governor of Ebony State, David Umayi, is the latest to speak on secession and also condemn it. According to Vanguard newspaper, Governor David Umayi kicks against the secession agenda because he doesn't want a situation whereby some ethnic groups would feel superior over the other. He, however, admitted that most of the agitation by secessionists are genuine, but noted that the agitation is not the best way to present their grievances. He also promised to present the grievances of the evils before the presidency and if after six months a change is not affected that then the secessionists can do as they please david umayi reports the next headline says i believe in united united nation and not secession during the completion of the eight days prayer and fasting section organized by the christian association of Nigeria can. David Ebony State, David Umayi, the Ebony State Governor Chapter, said that I do not believe in second class citizenship where a section of the country is being seen to be superior to others. We are all created by God and no one should talk of in in disintegration or disintegrating Nigeria. I want Igbos to submit these accusations and I would lead the government, governors and leaderships of the zone to the center to address these grievances. The groups call and the groups can then do what they like if after six months we fail to address these grievances. He appealed to the evils to shun the use of violence in presenting their genuine grievances, adding that you can't present their grievances of the authority by insulting the president and other leaders. He said that we would tell, we would tell the authorities in Abuja that our people are, are grieved but cannot be addressed by insulting the presidents, governors, and the leaders from other regions of the country. Thank you, viewers, for this name, for this news. Hmm. You can imagine. This is how leaders talk. This is how leaders talk, talk to their subjects, to give them hope for a better future. You can imagine. Just say whatever they want to say. They speak like as if they are illiterate. You can imagine. You can imagine. He's not even speaking well. Only trying to appeal his pay masters. That's Buhari. He's defending Buhari. That is it. That's what I'm saying. He's defending Buhari. You can imagine the kind of statement that came out of me. You can imagine that is that is his opinion anyway and it must be respected you can imagine it must be respected that's for him my people have been they have been oh 
eh, eh, how will I put it? Human beings have been, they have been fooled. The fool, the, 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 the people, they think they, are, they, they fool themselves, they think they are fooling people. You can imagine. You can imagine. What is good for the ghouls is also good for the Gan uh, Ganda. They have contributed more than 80% uh, uh, GDP of any state and they, f f and say they find themselves. Umayi, it is evident that the convented position you are occupying would not even allow you to see that uh, 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 your people. The Igbos are already reg uh, regarded as a second class who expected to accept any rubbish from those who have to even bat their eyelid. Again, David Umayi, your own is very demonious. You can imagine. Your own very demonious act is that, is that of the pre person who is already sold out as a slave. In regards, in this regards, who do you think can listen to you after they've known that you are a, you are a slave? Your youth have already decided to protect themselves. So what are you saying? They've already decided to protect, protect themselves. They've decided to, they have made up their mind to protect themselves from being harmed and leave you behind. That means as long as they are protecting themselves, they don't even care about you. Even if you are dying, they won't come to your rescue. Because of what you've done to them. Because of the hatred they have for you. They abandoned you. They have already decided not to protect you. To protect themselves alone. They have decided to protect themselves from the north with whom you, David Umayi, have pledged elegance at their expense so it is too late for 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 truth if that is what you are trying to preach then you have failed so will be my please do not even ask your counterpart the governor of Benue state to tell you more about these people but you already know and they know you as well you can imagine scotland have their uh, a referendum for the second time but in this part of this world that's why in nigeria referendum mean, means war to nigerians so please black people should go and buy brains from the whites because they're not intelligent the brain the, the the black are so dull when it comes to thinking when it comes to intelligence they are very dull they are very moish you can imagine, especially our, our, our leaders have turned this country to something else. You can imagine, David Duma is talking as if he's not an evil man. Are you not an evil leader? If you can't hear, then you can't see. That is it. You can't hear, then you can't see. So it is, this is hypocrisy of the highest order, as far as I'm concerned. Hypocrisy of the highest order. If as a governor, and you're still asking uh, people to list our grievances that shows that that shows how wicked you are that shows how wicked you are and as an evil leader you claim to be do we all need to die before before you we cannot that cannot be possible we can't die before you never 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 other governors the uh, uh, parliamentarians and other self-acclaimed people leaders will decide to meet the presidency as it's now known. Even the blind can see the atrocities against the evils by the Nigerian state. And you are still asking us to submit the list. You can imagine. If must do that, if the people must do that, then go and tell the presidency that we need Biafra and nothing more. Go and tell the presidency that Biafra is what we need and nothing more. Go and tell the presidency that we need Biafra need to be freed and nothing more. Go and tell the presidency, since the presidency are the 
uh, 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 the ones always being mentioned. They are the ones being mentioned. People like Femi Adeshino, Gabashiu. They are the ones that are deciding for our leader, our president. Then they should go and look them. You can imagine. This is what we want. Biafra. Biafra is what we want. Biafra is what we need and nothing more. You can imagine. This is too late. It is too late. It seems that they have sent you again. They have sent the video to say nonsense. Please, I will say again. Tell them, be a friend will stand. Be a friend is what they need. If the federal government can give Nigerians hope, then the way David Umay has given, there's, there is going to be positive change. I must respectfully submit that while agreeing with David Umay, David Umay on the ability, on the youth, on the unity of the nation, it's an irony of life that the leader of the Igbo is asking the people he is leading to list their grievances and bring them to him for for, 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 for forwarding. Imagine, I thought that as a leader, he is part of the people. I thought he's a part of the people. That means now is I know for sure that he's not a part of Igbo or the people. He's just there as a common flag. Whose grievances are his? Still, I respect him. But now, I don't respect him anymore. I respect him because he's a performer. But when it comes to, when it comes to what, or think of what everything has just said, I don't think I want to trust him anymore. You can imagine. Now that the government has accepted his failure, what he should do is to reshuffle his cabinet to bring in other qualified Nigerians into his administration to help him salvage the situations in Nigeria. That's President Modibari talking about President Modibari. So he should remove about 90% of his tribal men from the government if he wants the if he wants solution or peace and unity in this country.